Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue version with me Sanji. Part 4 now, uh, in the last part, we got the Boulder Badge from Brock and uh, since then I just continued on the road from Pewter City a little bit. Nothing too much exciting happened, there were a couple of bug catches with cat pies and metapods. Uh, most, uh, most interesting thing was like this little kid came up to me and was like, I like shorts, they're comfy and easy to wear and then started fighting me. So. If anyone comes up in the street to you and says, I like shorts, they're comfy and easy to wear, you just want to punch them in the mouth, because they're going to start fighting you, so you should preempt that and just punch them in the face. Uh, but uh, now I've just wandered into a patch of grass and I found this Jigglypuff, which I started fighting, and uh, I think I'm going to capture it, because I found, I met a Jigglypuff in uh, the Pewter City Pokemon Center, and I was very impressed by its singing, and as I am uh, a... a Team singer, I need to, I need more singers on my team, so we're going to get this Jigglypuff now. So we're going to try and capture with Pokeball. I think it's about as weakened as it's going to be, so let's go. Oh, come on. Two, three. Yes, got it first time. Excellent work, Raj. You've brought in the Jigglypuff. Well done. Okay, new Pokedex data. Don't care about that. I do need to give it a nickname though. I have a nickname in mind. I'm going to call it uh, Bolly after Bollywood. I'm going to abbreviate Bollywood and just call it Bolly. So there we go. Bolly! Let's see what Bolly can do. I want to hear it sing. So, uh, or her sing. I don't know. It, it probably looks more like a her than a him, let's be honest. So uh, let's continue on our journey. Eek, did you touch me? You walked up to me, lady, you know, I, I must have had very long arms if I was going to be touching her from there. Maybe she's like a prostitute or something? I really don't want to get involved, so uh, let's just get this battle over with so we can move on. So, uh, the sable failed, and the singing, the beautiful singing of Bolly hits this Jigglypuff, and now I'm going to go into Vindaloo to uh, try and attack it. So Vindaloo comes in. Jigglypuff fast asleep because my singing is so beautiful it just puts it straight to sleep like a lullaby so I'm just going to embar this Jigglypuff and hopefully take it out before it wakes up again so uh going to yes yes I think we're going to do it Vindaloo and Bolly combine well there to take out a Jigglypuff a successful debut for Bolly who goes to level 6 well done that's it yes that is it I hope I never see you again Oh, we're going fast. Oh, too fast. I'm going quickly because we have a lot to get through today, you know, because I've learned that the next city along is through this cave here, and it's called Cerulean City, and uh, it, we have a long way to go if we're to get there in this part. I'm not sure we can, but uh, we'll give it a go. So uh, we need to stop for Pit Stop in the Pokemon Center, and maybe just talk to a couple of people. Like, this guy's got, like, uh, something on that desk there. Hey, what is it? Team Rocket attacks the Rulian citizens. Team Rocket is always in the news. Oh, slow down the music, it's driving me crazy. So Team Rocket in the news, I, I'm going to Cerulean, I hope I don't get attacked, but who are Team Rocket? Rocket, I, I saw a rocket in the Pewter Museum of Science, maybe, maybe they're trying to fly to the moon or something. Well, that's fine, they can go to the moon if I can go to India. Have you heard about Team Rocket there, man? No, you haven't, you want to say something else. Hello there. Have I got a deal for you, just for you, in fact. I'll let you have a swell magic car for just $500. What do you say? Yes, I would like a magic car, but that sounds like fun. Yes, for you I make special price. Let's have it, let's have it. I got magic car. You want to give a nickname to magic car? Yes, yes, I think I would like to give a nickname. I will name it after very famous fish. I will call it Nemo. Yes, come on, come on, get, get the nickname done. Okay, so I have a magic carp now. Yay! That's four members on the party now. That's quite... Wait, hang on a minute. Magic carp. A carp that is magic. A magic fish. And this guy looks a lot like that old guy in Variety in City who could turn into a fish. I really hope I haven't bought a shape-shifting wizard like that guy in the first episode. Please don't be a shape-shifting wizard. In fact, I'm going to have to put magic carp to the head of the party to make sure he doesn't change into a wizard. So, uh, oh dear, 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 that, that would be very bad if he turned into a wizard. Yes, I need to battle you. 
suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Well, you're the suspicious one. You just came up to me and started, you know, throwing your balls at me with wheedles in them. That's disgusting. So, Nemo is here on uh, level 5, and uh, hopefully when I splash, she won't turn into a wizard and kill me. So let's find out. Okay, the Weedle moves first, and I splash! And it has no effect. Oh, that's a relief. He's not going to turn into an evil old wizard man. Although, having said that, he's not exactly doing a lot else. Okay, so... Let's look at the positives. The positives are Nemo didn't turn into an old wizard and kill me. The negatives is, or are, he doesn't seem to be that good of a Pokemon. But uh, there's time for him to improve, I'm sure. Vindaloo grows to level 16 to uh, take that out and now takes out Akakuna. Akakuna. What's that song, the Timon and Pumba song? I'm pretty sure it had that in it. Oh, Vindaloo is evolving, but I'm stopping Vindaloo from evolving, because uh, I, I like Vindaloo the way he is, so uh, let's continue on our quest here. I found a potion, and over here I found a Team 12. Ah, ah, and something just attacked that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take your Team 12. Oh, it's a Geodude. Well, if you're so attached to that TM12, uh, I'm going to have to catch you. I like Geodude. I like the hair, like the Grease Lightning in Brock's gym. And I quite like that, so I'm going to try and capture, just weaken it with some scratching. There we go, I think that's enough. Uh, so I'm going to capture you now, come on, let's hope this captures. And it does, excellent work. Well done, Vindaloo. Don't care about that, I do need to give nickname. I could nickname this Geodude many things, I could call it, like, I could call it Travolta after Greece. I could call it Greaser. Uh, I could call it James Dean, or Dean, from uh, his movie, but I think I'm going to call it after one of James Dean movies, because these are all people who share Geodude's hair, but uh, I'm going to call it Rebel, because James Dean starred in Rebel without cause, and uh, I think this Geodude could be quite rebellious. I need lower case. Come on. Thank you. Not F. Ripple. No. He's so rebellious, he doesn't want to spell his name correctly. That's how rebellious he is. Alright, so we have Rebel. We better get moving here. A zoo bat. Is that a bat that's escaped from a zoo? Oh well, I, I don't want anything to do with the bats that have escaped from zoos, so we'll continue on here. Ah, what? I'm waiting for my friends to find me. <laughs> I don't think this girl's friends are going to be coming. I think her friends have said, Hey, why don't you go play hide and seek in the big dark cave over there? And she's like, okay, yes, yes, you come and find me. And it's just like, they're, they're not coming to find her. They're off out having fun somewhere while she's in the cave going, guys, you coming, guys? No, they're, they're not coming. They hate you. But uh, she sends out the Clefairy, and I quite like the look of this Clefairy. It's quite cute. Uh, it can sing as well, like my Bolly. Oh, I definitely need one of these. If I find one on the way, I'll try and capture one. But, uh, you know... I've heard they're quite rare, so uh, we, we will see if we can get a Clefairy, I'm not sure. But we'll continue on. Another bat from a zoo. Whichever zoo lost all these bats is very careless. Oh, So there's another bat of zoo. I'm just getting in the way. Okay, so this person wants to fight. She sends out something that looks oddish, and I'm like, yeah, that does look oddish. I'm going to kill it. And it uses Absorb, which doesn't do anything, and now the Oddish is gone. People have called me Oddish before, but, uh, you know, I don't think I look like that, so I guess they were wrong. Then that the Bellsprout, and uh, people have called me Bellsprout before, but they were insane. Uh, but um, there we go, so that goes down, and we defeat the last, and Vindaloo is going to try to evolve, and I'm not going to let it evolve. I think uh, Vindaloo's been working hard a lot, so... Uh, Raj, you can, uh, or should I try out Rebel? Rebel's on low hit points, so I'll, I'll try Rebel out. I'll give Rebel a spin. Look, there's another Rebel. Run away. Do you mean I can't escape? Thank you. Did you come to explore for items or something? I, I can't read at triple speed. Okay, so his Ratata tackles me and I tackle the Ratata and... Ralph Rebel did lose there, he didn't take a lot of damage, and he dished out a fair bit, so I think the future could be quite bright for Rebel there. So, uh, horn attack time for Raj to take that out. 
we can take this one out. And another bat from Azul. But uh, they're all getting taken out. Well done, Raj. And onwards we go. <laughs> I don't know, should I start playing a drinking game with these Zubats? Every time I see a Zubat, I take a drink. I'm pretty sure. I've never been drunk before, but I think that would be a good way of getting drunk right there. Bindaloo's leading the party, but uh, I'm gonna let him do that for a bit because we just seem to be running into Zubats like every two steps. Ah! This time it's one of the dudes of Geo, but uh, not quite as annoying, but pretty close. Find a moonstone. I don't want to battle that guy who looks to be on steroids, so he could break my neck, so we'll go on without him. Whoa! Whoa, come on! Okay, so, ah! No, another Zubat! Zubats are annoying. Maybe if I kill one Zubat, it'll send out a message to the other Zubats to stay away. Alright, Bindalu, kill this Zubat. Well done. Alright, so uh, this guy looks kind of uh, dark. Is he like... He's like the goth look, is he? I don't know. Little kids should leave grown-ups alone. I know they're annoying, but... You... That's no need to whip me! <laughs> Jeez, I... Uh, this guy should go find that girl who, on, who was on that route uh, earlier. I think she'd, she'd appreciate the whips. Okay, so uh, this is in, this is looking quite bad. I'm sending in Bolly to try and sing this thing, but uh, this thing is hyperfanging me and critical hitting me, and it's not looking good. I'm not even sure Raj can take this thing on, so this could get very bad very quickly. So uh, that that quick attack did an awful lot. Oh dear, 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 dear! I'm going to use a potion, but I don't know how much use it will be. I think I could lose here. Oh no, it's a hyperfang! I oh no, I've lost my first battle. That's the first battle I've lost. Oh dear. Alright, we've got to get moving. We've got to get back there. It's weird how I just lost and ended up back at that Pokemon Center, but, uh, you know, whatever, whatever. But I've lost, I can't believe it. MBZ will be watching this and they'll be like, ha, Senji, you lost in Mount Moon? No one loses in Mount Moon. I don't want to lead with Rebel because he's not fast, so I'll switch to my Vindaloo. Vindaloo, Vindaloo, na na. Oh, get out of my face, Geo, dude. Ah! Ah! Alright. I think I will just try and get to where that uh, rocket was who beat us, and uh, then I will call this a part, and then in the next part I will try to uh, get at the end of this. And I, I will buy some uh, alcoholic beverage and drink whenever a Zubat appears on the screen, because I think that way I might pass into a coma before the end of the video and I might die, but you know. It'll be fun getting there, so, uh, nothing seems to show up in these tunnels. Anyway, so there's that rocket that, uh, beat us, but, uh, we, I will call this a part, and I, you can join me in part five, where hopefully we can get past this guy. I could just walk past him, but I think, I think we need to beat him. The team needs to beat him. They've lost to him, but we will beat him this time, so, until next time, this is Sanji the Idiot saying goodbye, and I will see you next time, right here.